Hey, I want to talk to you about fears because everybody has fears. And it's really funny how when you have to make a change or you want to make a change, how scary it can be. One of the things that I'm looking to do is to really do more training, but training with first responders to help them overcome some of the fears or the trauma that they have experienced. And by doing that, it scares me because again, with the fears, sometimes I'll question myself and say, am I good enough? Am I gonna be able to really help them? Can I help every one of them? And the answer is, yes, I am good enough. Yes, I do have a lot of knowledge. And no, I will not be able to help every one of them, which also saddens me because I wanna help everybody. And I want everybody to be successful. And I realized that I can't make people successful, that I can't make people change. No matter how hard I try, I just can't do it. And sometimes not only does it make me afraid because what if I can only help one person out of 10? Am I good enough? And then I question myself and I question my abilities, but I know in my heart and in my soul that I'm really giving sometimes not only 110%, but 200%. And then I'm praying for them and I'm saying, you got this, you got this, you got this. But I can't make them change and I can't make them believe in themselves. So fear can be not only afraid of doing something and stepping outside of the box, but fear can be doubting yourself as well. Fear comes in many different shapes and sizes and words. And what we have to do is we have to decide, I'm good. I got this. And if I make a mistake, you know what? That's okay. Cause that's going to be a lesson that I've learned so I can improve or I can say, Hmm, maybe I don't belong down this road. But if I make a slight right or a slight left, that is the road that I'm supposed to be on. But without those lessons, we're never going to know. And without taking that step, we're never going to know. And without taking that jump into the unknown, we keep on holding ourselves back. And when we hold ourselves back, the fear gets bigger. And when it gets bigger, it becomes overwhelming. And then when we really look at and we take that jump and we go and we do it, we realize that the fear that we thought was the size of our house or the size of the room or whatever you want to make it, it was this big because the fear started with a thought, our words, or even somebody else's that we allowed to plant that seed in our mind. And then when we finally do it, it's not as scary. And then we realize, oh my gosh, I survived and I thrived. Or, oh my gosh, I thought it was going to be a lot scarier, but it wasn't. Or, oh my gosh, I did it and I don't like it. And that's okay. All three of them are the right answers. There's no right answer. The only right answer is what you decide. This is Kathy Linder. I am your favorite hypnotist. I'm stepping outside of my box and I'm going to take the jump. And even though it scares the shit out of me sometimes, I know I'm doing it for the right reasons. And I know that if I don't land on my feet, I will maybe skin my knee or skin my hands. And then I get back up and I get to start all over again. Same thing with you. Take the jump. Take the leap, take the step. You might get a skin knee or you might realize it was the best freaking decision you ever did. Let me know how you do. And I'm looking forward to it. Bye.